Indeed, an incredible journey. Now joining us here in the studio is my colleague Momo Hamza, the Chief of Voice of America Swahili Service, and someone who has often sat in for Shaka from time to time. Hamza, welcome to the program. Thank you, Esther. Uh, please tell us how you weigh, weigh in on, on some of, you know, what, you, what it feels like when you sit here on this show for Shaka Sali, all the Kabbalah kid, as they call them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Esther, it's been terrific. Yeah, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> you would <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, this, this has been uh, a very, I mean, I shared a lot of memories and experiences with Shaka. I mean, even, even when I'm not hosting the show, I would pass by, you know, his desk and ask him, uh, so Shaka, what's, you know, what's Ndugu. on today? Who, uh, who is on the show? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. and, and as he said, uh, do, when, when, when the preparations for the show began, uh, I was, you know, uh, Part of the we, we were rehearsing a lot of the shows. Ashinafia Beja, if you remember, mm -hmm. um, um, I was Mandela. I did this terrible, <laughs> terrible imitation. And I of, wanted to know why you're Mandela. Mandela. Uh -huh. well, you know, I've been in jail for 27 years. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, but uh, you know, the, the thing is, uh, the, the last week we had a panel uh, about uh, Straight Talk Africa, mm -hmm. and there was uh, Professor Suleiman Young, yes. uh, Dr. Ayite, and Emira Woods. Emira Woods said something which I found to be very profound and that was he said straight talk africa has created a space whereby african issues could be discussed freely and that is something very profound because uh, the show has provided that to the continent sure. every week people the the audience know that uh, straight talk africa is coming on and whatever is coming on it will be you know straight, a, huh? straight <laughs> you know. <laughs> issues of democracy have been you know in abundance mm -hmm. uh, governance yeah. you know all those uh, issues and uh, you know and the experiences are, are many let me tell you you ask shark about the you know the guests not showing up oh, uh, yes. on time for the show. Mm -hmm. I remember when you did, uh, you Garang. hosted Garang. Yeah, John uh, Garang. John Garang. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, they they were just getting in the last phases of the agreement with the Sudanese government. Mm -hmm. And I had just returned from Sudan where I had interviewed Garang in, in Nateng. You had gone uh, with the sec Secretary with the of Secretary, State. Uh, uh, I, no, I traveled with uh, um, Kofi Annan. Kofi Annan yeah. I so went to Darfur yeah, and then yes, I went to yes, Sudan. Yes. So when I came back here and Garang was to come on the show and he was late. So Shaka calls me, hey, you, gotta, you, you better be in the studio. <laughs> so I get into the studio and he's asking me about Garang. And, uh, so I'm saying, you know, I met Garang, I interviewed Garang in Nateng, uh, new site. It's a place not too far from Lokichogyo in no northern yes, Kenya. northern Kenya. And a few minutes later, Garang walks in. <laughs> I mean, this is General Garang. I mean, he's, he's, not, a, he's not a simple man. Yes. And the first thing he does, so, so, so Shaka asks me, can you positively identify him as John Garang? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yes. That, and the first thing Garang does is he corrects me. You, you know, they were very sensitive with this place called Nothing mm -hmm. or New Site. Mm -hmm. I had said that that was their headquarters. Oh, wow. And he was like, oh, that's oh. not our headquarters. So that you know, was, military people—they don't—they don't give away their headquarters. <laughs> yes. You know, so I mean, there's there are so many experiences. And you know, it's interesting, Shaka. You know, to have somebody like that walk in, and uh, he doesn't need to be identified. He tells you what is going on in Southern Sudan, so you know exactly who that is. But you've also had some guests that have also brought some controversy, some degree of controversy, because other people are not exactly too happy with who you have on the show. And you've had some of both things. And that is correct. Uh, uh, I think the first person in that category to come to mind actually is uh, Ugandan opposition uh, political leader, uh, Colonel Dr. Chiza Vesije, mm -hmm. retired, but certainly not tired. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, well, I believe it was um, August, uh, uh, the last week of August uh, 2001, uh, when BCJ was, uh, I mean, reportedly escaped uh, from uh, uh, a house. Uh, he had been under house arrest, and uh, he managed to beat the Ugandan security forces. Uh, nobody in the world seemed to know uh, where BCJ was. So one time I was on my desk, and the telephone rings, and uh, I get the uh, telephone receiver, and uh, a senior intelligence uh, uh, military intelligence official of a third party country, which we shall remain uh, uh, unnamed <laughs> until, um, you know, I get clearance. Mm -hmm. um,